Good weekend, everybody. <clears throat> I've decided to do a little retro gaming here. I'm using a Texas Instrument home computer emulator. I'm going to be playing a game called Alpine Climber. It's one of my favorite classics. It um, actually used to be a... Uh, I had it on a tape drive. It was before hard drives. I didn't even have it on a floppy disk and a cassette recorder. Um, God, it's been over 30 years since I had that system. Maybe longer. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Have to enter in everything. And select a mountain. So a tapper game to tap 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 a lot and you gotta watch out for the hazards there's a snake I get too close to the snake it'll get you there's rocks falling there's skunks oh I got to the top level one as you go on it gets harder you need more obstacles in your way like trees and see mud oh I just, I'm falling I'm falling Oh, I almost got killed. Let's see, there's more rock slides. I forget how many levels there is to this. Uh oh, skunk. And I gotta keep moving if I don't. Stuff will fall on me. I know the graphics are not the best, but you know, I, I really enjoy this game. Mountain line, gotta avoid that. Mud slides, rocks falling. I made it again. I'm gonna let a snake bite me just to see what happens. Oh, I'll just fall down. I'll let a tiger attack me next and see what happens. Uh oh. Now that'll cause you to get killed fast or rock falls on you. Oh crap. Oh, big rock slide. Oh, I'm falling. No. Oh, it didn't kill me. I don't think I'm going to make it this time. Game over. Game over. Press redo or back. So that's pretty much it. I mean, these games were pretty simple back then. There's uh, wasn't a whole lot to them. Let's see what else I got here. I can load up maybe. How many cartridges I got? Car Wars. I haven't played that in a long time. Let's see here if I can remember how to even play it. To put the command in. I'll go with Creepin'. Uh, I've already crashed. I don't think the controls are working right for this game. I wonder which way I am. Ugh. This isn't good. I think I might be the one on the right, but I'm not sure. Oh, uh, so much for that game. Let's see what else we have here. I 
amazing. I'm not sure what that is. I'll try it out. Now you got to remember this is before Windows and uh, Microsoft and all this. This is a Texas instrument. Well, I'll go over the one player. <clears throat> I'll go for the escape maze. Simple maze. Visible. Uh, mouse holes. Fast mouse. The cat will eat you. Uh, I'll take one cat. Let it chase me around. I'm having a slow cat. A dumb cat. And I guess a standard cat. So it won't pounce on me. Eat me. Oh, here, here I am, the little mouse, a little purple speck. And I guess I'm supposed to get down here to the bottom before uh, this thing eats me. Oh, well, that's not it. Lucky it's a dumb cat. It's a smart cat. I've probably already been dead. Amazing. 31 and 9 tenths second. Press any key to continue. Oh. I have to type a command in. Let's see here. Press redo. Oh, well, didn't do it. Well, the game locked up, or what happened here? I think it locked up. Have to reset the ROM. Let's see what else is on here. It's got blackjack and poker. Football. Munch Man, I forget that. It was just a really weird game. It's a, and then they got TI Invaders. Kind of a knockoff of Space Invaders, if you ask me. But, uh, let's see. You gotta hit 2 to select it. And, like I said, it's kind of a cheesy knockoff of uh, Space Invaders. So, let's see what happens. Select one. Where are my fire buttons at? If I don't find a fire button, I'm gonna be in trouble. This is not good. It's usually controller alt or enter. But on Texas Instrument. Let's see here, it's gotta be one of these. Oh, what what did that? Oh, it's the Q button. That's just ah. Uh, too bad. 15 points out of record. Oh. Now this is not supposed to be on the aggressive mode, so I got killed so quickly. It's an embarrassment. Man, things don't mess around. It's harder than the uh, Atari version. Jeez. I need 20 points. This is embarrassing. Yep, this is definitely not good for the keyboard. I got, I'm going to hit Q to fire. I need to find uh, some of my old retro joysticks. Now this is a demonstration for the uh, Commodore 64 cassette that they actually used to have in the store display. Uh, this is key. Let's see, I'll give you number two for the demonstration. Uh, this 1979 when it's actually come out and it's showing all the color graphics and stuff. So uh, I thought it was neat for the time I was a kid. It's probably like maybe first grade. And I seen one on display. I mean, I couldn't afford it. It's like, way over my head, over two thousand dollars. It just wasn't going to happen. I, was, I didn't have the money. I 
I may be the most useful home appliance your family could ever own because I'm easy to use and there's so much I can do. So much can help you do. So, and it did. It had like a, it wasn't Microsoft Excel that hadn't come around yet. But there was an accounting program, stuff like a number cruncher. You could do some small tasks on it and save it to tape or floppy disk if you could afford that. And they tried to pass it off as an educational tool. And on, in all honesty, every kid I think got a computer. Um, they probably used it for gameplay. Or I, I had no idea when I got one. Played Will of Fortune all the time. Um, Doom. Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, whatever I could find. And this goes on for quite a while. It's a pretty good sized demo disc. And uh, the graphics crack me up how corny they are. So, And it could even play chess. I had a checkers game on this, but uh, I'm not real sure where it's at. I think it was something maybe that some programmer made... Uh, um, aftermarket, maybe a homebrew. See, yes, I'm programmable. That means, like, you can simple basic language. And it was a basic language at the time. It was actually a cartridge you could get to plug in. Texas Instrument had it on the right hand side. And they had actually had a um, voice modulator you could plug in. So it's talking about the accessory now. And I remember the computer art candy had like a little tablet you could buy with a pencil long before Apple came up with an Apple pen. But uh, it was something. Press the space bar, see what it does. I'm glad you decided to stay. Here we go. And my thought on this, if you had the money to buy it back then, I'd say you didn't need to budget very much. It's probably fairly well off. Because uh, in 79, it was two or $3,000 is a lot of money. It could go as high as 5000 if you want all the accessories, the RAM upgraded and all that. It's her ideal of the school bus. And I guess this goes on for a while. It was just, uh, I remember hitting a space bar in the store to see more of it. I think I annoyed the salesperson. I guess he had been listening to it all day and really didn't want to hear it again. So even back then, computer wanted to get into healthcare. Now this is usually where the kids would want it. Um, 16 colors it was a big deal but um, they had weird games then too with it I'll, I'll show you one of them right here yeah, I'm sure you've seen enough of the intro yeah they had the f corny football game chess see if I can uh See the rest of this. Oh yeah, I remember the calculator. Hello. Yeah, I'd actually buy the program though. It wasn't in the. Uh, but let's see if they got uh, Much Man on here. It was really weird. Here is kind of a generic knockoff of Pac Man. I mean, it kind of was. It didn't even really look like anything. To be honest with you.
Now, on this one, they have Pac-Man in the middle for whatever reason. Like, this right in the middle of the screen. And he didn't have very much of a chance to run. I mean, his... And looks like... These look like ninja stars, and the power pellets are the state of Texas. It was a really weird game. And instead of eating the pellets, you have to actually fill the screen up with this chain that you're making as you go by. On this version you did. Used to confuse the heck out of me. Still does. It's like flying ninja stars instead of ghost monsters. I don't even know what they're supposed to be. I don't think I'm going to make round one. This is just the worst of the worst, or the hardest of the hardest. Where did I miss? Oh, that's going to get me. Oh, I see where I messed up. I still messed somewhere. Ha! I'm like, you have to go every inch of this. Not really. Now they just look weird on this level. What's wrong going on with them? I don't think I want to make this round. Uh-oh. Game over. That was Munch Man. That was uh, Texas Instruments ideal of Pac Man, I suppose. Well, that's about all I have to say. Well, here's a video chase if you want to see it load. But uh, it's just not a whole lot to say. Press any key to load it. And I uh, don't know how to play chess all that well. Thirty-nine year old program. Now to get your pieces to move, you had to hit like C7 to C6 and then hit enter. There was no mouse. You had to physically type that in. Get the knight to move, I would have to hit like B8, B as in boy, and 8, and then tell it to I'll say like the B7. I think that's a legal move, I'm not sure. And hit enter. If it's not, it'll give me a buzz. A legal move. So, it gets blocked. Try B8. I uh, know I couldn't take it to B7. I don't know why I put that. Should have put C7 or a D6. Might be an illegal move. Oh, yeah, I should have hit C7. See, this, this is even confusing for me. I'm used to clicking on the mouse and everything. Oh, I didn't put the beginning. Gotta put B8 to C7. It gives you kind of an explanation on how it works to uh, play the game through. Um, quick.
quit for now. Call it tonight. I just want to show everybody um, how that worked. I'll play a little warmest or something later on. I uh, hope everybody's having a good